Welcome back. Welcome back to another Beeline to Passports. My name is Joe Batista. I'm your host. And tonight we have a beautiful, a special guest. I have a queen here in the show. I have my good friend, Brie Burke. Brie, welcome back to Beeline to Passports. Thank you so much for having me again. I, I can't wait for this to get started. I really am so excited to be here. And thank you for accepting the invitation. And like every week we ask our guests how everything started. But in this particular case, we want to know how everything is doing. Because we know a little bit of your story. Uh, you are an actress. You are a model. Um, also a director, producer, president, and founder of Days. And recently, you won a crown. I World did. I did. United I have it here. Queen. And congratulations for that achievement. Uh, and tell us, tell us, um, you know, let's start with the beauty pageant. Uh, how was it? Uh, where, where was? And uh, I want to know uh, uh, everything about the beauty pageant. Of course. Um, so it was actually in Portland. Um, we had a lot of fun. We, we were on a plane for most of the journey. <laughs> um, it was so much fun. It was so beautiful over there. And the weather was absolutely gorgeous. Like if you go outside right now, it's upwards of 90 degrees every day. And over there it was only 70. So it was a very nice getaway um, from the Florida heat. But other than the weather, the pageant was absolutely spectacular. It was so comfortable and they didn't look at you for who you are on the outside. They looked on the inside. They looked on, do you actually help your community? Do they actually do the stuff that you say you're doing? Do you go out? Do you do charity? Do you have this nonprofit for real? Or are you just saying you do? So they make sure that you are actually there for your heart and not for your looks. And just being on that stage was so empowering because you were there with a bunch of other women that were there to help support a cause and not just be a face to show off a pretty crown or a pretty sash and say, I won. But it was so much fun. And if you look on my Instagram or my Facebook, you'll see just how beautiful these other women are. And you'll see just how special and how important their job is in the communities that they serve. Um, I actually competed in the um, World United pageant. So I went for international. So I went for the international nice. title and I won. So I am, let's see if I can get this. Yes, right, right there, the sash. <laughs> Yep, so right there. The World title. United 2023. Nice, nice, nice. Love it, love it, love it. I love when uh, our guests bring their stories and their success stories uh, because this show is for that. This show is to uh, promote your careers, but also to help people out there. They have a dream and they don't know how to start uh, to work on your dreams. And mm -hmm. we seen, you know, your uh, projects uh, and now uh, you have another crown because we know <laughs> uh, you were Miss Pasco County and I see it behind you right here. Uh, I see <laughs> the other sash, the other crown, but also you participate in other beauty uh, pageants, and you basically a mess to uh, every everybody around the world. 
I go into these beauty pageants not because of how I look or um, of what I do about walking across the stage. I go into them going into it saying that I want to support my platform. And pageantry has given me that voice to actually go up and say, hey, I'm Brie Burke. I'm the CEO and founder of Days, Depression Awareness and Youth and Young Adult Suicide. I go into these schools, I talk to kids one-on-one -on -one, instead of in a group setting saying that they should look at the board and they should call this number if they need us. I don't do that. And I have saved numerous kids and I am so happy that I have because you can actually see that it's making a difference. And even with the crown, I can go into schools by myself without even saying, hey, um, this is kind of what I do. If you need me, let me know. I am going to be here. I will bring the shiny hardware if you need me to. Yes. And I'll help out however yes. I can. Yes. Most definitely, most definitely, and, and you bring uh, a, a message uh, to a community. I was uh, listening in the news uh, recently, and they were talking about the suicide in the mm -hmm. youth community that basically yeah. increase. That's exactly. very sad. They increase, and there was uh, there were cases of six years old uh, kids, they try to commit suicide. Uh, that's very sad. Uh, and we need to work bringing a message uh, to all these kids around the world, then hey, they have a solution. And the solution is talk, it is uh, communicate with your parents communicate with adults they can guide you to go out of that state of mind uh and definitely you, you are one uh, of the persons that i know they love to bring that message uh they have some help uh for the youth yes most definitely and with this spike in numbers um you really have to question what are we doing wrong as a community yes. that we have missed something that we are losing so many kids that we are losing so many youths that are essentially just being brought into the world and deciding i don't want to be here anymore what is wrong with us we have to fix and yes. It is so sad to see that a lot of older generations are not asking those questions, are not or, seeing what they need to do, but instead saying, oh, that's not our problem. That's the younger generation's problem. All we have to do is make sure that we're okay and they'll, they'll figure it out eventually. And that's the wrong approach. Because yes. if you see there's a problem, you should at least try to fix it. Correct. Correct. Yeah. And, and they have uh, an opportunity, you know, studying, like you said, visiting mm -hmm. uh, schools. Um, exactly. We, you know, being in different platforms, then, you know, being these beauty pageants help, help you uh, to. Uh, bring the message and also yeah. with the beauty pageants that will uh, help you to go to other areas, other states, or including yeah. internationally um, to bring that message. Most definitely. Now that I have an international title, I can go wherever I need to be or wherever I want to be, and I can bring my message out to those around me. Um, like, I'm going to Africa soon, and nice. that is for a vacation of mine, but I do plan on bringing my crown and sash with me. Correct, correct. And I do yes. plan on speaking 
about what I want to do for the community. I do plan on doing that while I'm over there. And hopefully I am welcome with open arms. <laughs> yes, and, and, and you know, they, they this um, situation is not only in the US, uh, exactly. Latin America, also uh, in Europe, Africa. Yeah. You, you don't know um, because unfortunately yeah. it's, it's a sad uh, situation. Um, social media is great, but people need to know how to handle social media because sadly, some people use social media the incorrect way uh, and that can destroy some um, buried re uh, reputation and that can dig very deep in that person uh then the only way for that person to think uh the only way uh is to be out of the world and that is exactly. not correct that's not correct but no not see, at all and it's, it's so sad to see that people think this way now correct Correct. It's important to bring that message and, and applaud and you uh, looking on your vacation, take time to do uh, some uh, community uh, work and that will help on your career and that will help in somebody's life. Most definitely. Most definitely. Most, Most definitely. definitely. And All right, Bree. let's take our first commercial break. And when we come back, uh, we will continue talking about your career, uh, uh, all these great projects that you have been done on beside this uh, beauty pageant. But let's take this short commercial break. And uh, people, remember to stay tuned because they have more and more information about Miss Brie Burke here in Beeline to Passports on GKI Radio. We are back. We are back from commercial break. Great music. You're listening GKI Radio. This is your show, Be Lying to Passports. And tonight we have a beautiful guest. This guest, she is a model, actress, director, producer, president and founder of Days, and the most recently crown. Miss World United. We have tonight Miss Brie Burke. Brie, uh, we talk uh, in the first segment, um, we talk about um, the beauty pageant, uh, your plans, your vacation. But now I want to know how is your modeling because i've seen um uh, that you were doing some some stuff uh, <laughs> with wedding dresses and <laughs> that, that was you know a beautiful uh pictures <laughs> and it's um tell us tell us about the, the modeling part so modeling is going really great um I actually have another gig for wedding dresses and prom dresses and homecoming dresses coming up soon. Um, I have the wedding gowns is actually September 10th, so look out for that. And for homecoming and prom, I actually am with my sponsor currently, and I am doing their TikToks for their um, pages. I do a bunch of modeling in the boutique so if you ever want to come and see me or if you ever want to come and help out girls out there um or guys if you guys want to come in and you want to bring some tuxes and take some pictures we'd love to 
Um, we are Dream Gown Bridal, and we are currently in Hudson. So please, if you ever want to come in, look us up, give us a call, and we'd be happy to have you. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And uh, now let's jump to the other side. Yes. Music. Yes. Oh, I God. saw some pictures <laughs> and that you were on a studio. Yes. And hey, I'm nosy. What you were doing there? <laughs> so I am actually going to be making my first album. I'm going to be making my first single. And I'm going to be doing that with the help of King D. He is a producer and um, he's a producer in uh, Kentucky, I believe. And he's actually done uh, Taylor Swift's Red Album. He's done stuff for Rihanna, Ray J, Beyonce, um, Brandy, the list goes on but I am currently working with him and we are looking forward to scheduling when I can get back into the studio and I can finish, uh, I can finish um, up my song and when we can see, we can release it. So look out for that. That might be coming soon. Total package people, total <laughs> package because now they come the other part. <laughs> yes. Acting. All hey, right. You said you can't have a triple threat. Hey, hey <laughs> but you're not triple. You have a, a six to four. I don't know how many threats <laughs> right there. Uh, tell me, tell me, uh, you know, some uh, projects that you have been worked recently uh, in, you know, in the acting world. Most definitely. So we just recently did a commercial for Dream Gone Bridal, as you have heard. And now with the strike, a lot of stuff has been pushed back, but I can tell you about some upcoming contracts that I do have planned and have signed. Um, so I'm going to be going to Ireland with, um, I believe it is Invictus Films. I'm going to be going to Ireland with them and I'm going to be filming for a series over there. Um, we also have a couple more movies that are very hush hush at the moment, Go but right. we are going to be definitely going ahead with that as soon as the strike comes to um, comes to an end, or if it comes to an agreement, which I hope it comes to an agreement soon. Definitely, definitely, yes. Yeah, so it has been uh, um, you know hurting uh, a lot of people uh, because. The strike is not only affecting um, the actors, they also yes. affecting every crew member uh, because unfortunately they, uh, if they don't have actors, they can yes. do their work and uh, they need to uh, work, sit down and make an agreement uh, that they uh, basically Hollywood continue uh, doing the film. We know they have many independent um, uh, companies. They, they doing some short films and some feature films, and they've been working uh, on that ones. But definitely the big film production companies, they've been right now stopped uh, for production for any any of the big ones that are going to go on the, uh, the theaters or on the um, streaming services, um, because sadly they have this uh, situation. Uh, yes. But hey, definitely they're gonna have a sound agreement very soon because that's affecting also their pockets. <laughs> mm -hmm. because definitely the, the pro producers, they being affecting their pockets uh, with all this um, situation with the strike. Uh, right. <laughs> And um, you're talking a, a little bit on the uh, films uh, for the people. How I met Miss Brie Burke. Brie was my killer. <laughs> yes, she killed me on a film. 
Uh, that is one of the reasons. <laughs> uh, yeah, you always say it, she owed me one <laughs> because uh, I do we owe working, you one. <laughs> <laughs> we work together on this amazing project with Mr. Um, uh, Josh. And hey, since then, we've been working on, on different uh, projects like this one, doing this. <laughs> Um, podcast radio show, uh, and she's been in season two now. She's back on season five, telling us everything that she's been doing, um, in the film and also in other areas that she's been uh working. Uh, but definitely, she owe me one. <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> well, definitely. Well, I have a project coming soon. I'm going to send you today uh, an email uh, to see uh, how we can uh, work on that project. Uh, but definitely. after uh, the show, we talk more about this uh, opportunity. But definitely. And uh, Brie, one more, one more thing um, regarding uh, I know. Uh, because that part is by trade. Basically, your yes. dad is the chef, but you are uh, the junior chef. <laughs> uh, how is that part? How, you know, you've been working on your cook or something right there with, with that? I am, I am. So I am little chef. That's what we have dubbed me and my family. I do a lot of the cooking at home now. Uh, when my mom can't and I do have to say Dad put me in charge of making the steaks now. So I'm proud of mm. myself <laughs> that, that mean that mean then uh, the girl she knows the kitchen <laughs> I, do. She knows I know to how to cook. I do know my future husband's gonna be very happy <laughs> Most definitely. Uh, try to, to to keep him, you know, skinny because when they get on the food, they're gonna gain some weight. <laughs> oh, most definitely. Most definitely. Uh, <laughs> Alrighty. Well, let's take this uh, other uh, commercial break, and uh, we will continue talking about uh, your career, talking about uh, the different projects and uh, all these great things. And uh, we're gonna continue talking about your uh, two things. First, days, and also um, the Chamber of Commerce that you are involved. Yes. <laughs> all right. Let's take this short commercial break. And people remember to drop a comment or question if you would like to hear them here in the show. Uh, the number is 407-476-9059. Remember to say my name, Joe Batista, followed by your name, your comment or question, and you can also hear it here in Be Line to Passports on GKI Radio. We are back. We are back from commercial break. Great music. And you're listening GKI Radio. Tonight, we have a beautiful guest here in your show, Beeline to Passports. And her name is Miss Brie Burke. She is a director, producer. Also, she is a beauty queen, Miss World United. She's a singer, and also she is an actress. Brie, uh, if I continue adding adjectives, I will, that will take me like uh, three minutes <laughs> just to do your introduction. But uh, I'm glad. I'm glad that you're here and giving us your story, um, what you've been doing. But 
I want to talk about um, this segment uh, uh, days. I know um, the, in the first segment, we talk about some um, opportunities that you're taking uh, with, let's say, an advantage uh, with uh, uh, now the World United Crown. But I want to know uh, the, the day's organization, how people can get to you or get to your to your team uh, to try to uh, you know talk about the situation talk about anything or how the people can invite you uh, to participate in uh, different events that you can go and uh, talk to the youth most definitely so I have an open email um, Whenever you guys need me, whenever anyone needs me, you can contact me at days, d dot a dot y dot s dot nonprofit at gmail.com. I will be on there 24 seven. You can ask me anything, anytime. Um, I unfortunately do not have an office phone as of right now, but we are looking to get that soon. Um, we are looking to do some fundraisers in the community, so if anyone would be gracious enough to volunteer their time or volunteer a location. We would most definitely love that. We want to do something in September or October, although it might be a little bit too late to do that now. But we would love to do whatever we can for the community. Um, you can also find me on Facebook at Days, the same, um, the same location, same D dot A dot Y dot S dot nonprofit. Um, you can also find me on Instagram as well, and that would be under days D dot Y dot or D dot A dot Y dot S dot underscore. So you can find me wherever, and if you need me, just email me, reach out, and I'll be there to help you whenever. Amazing. Yes, yes, uh, in people. Um, if you, you know, you're listening to the show and you're an adult and you have kids, then they probably have some uh, kind of situation that you th think that they might need help. Uh, this is somebody that can provide you that help. Uh, she's been de doing this for several years now. Uh, and for, I want to, um, I want you, uh, Brie, to tell us uh, again, uh, for the people understand why uh, you create days, because that is something that the people will hear and they will relay and understand why you work with this, your organization. Most definitely. So I started days because when I was 10 years old, I lost my cousin, David. He was 22. Um, we lost him a week before his birthday. And sadly, I, as a child at the time, learned very quickly that life is not something to be taken for granted. I saw the heartache that my family and I myself felt and went through. And I went into school that year. And I just saw everyone around me had either some form of depression or some form of self-harm. And I wanted to help them because I knew by myself at the time that I was feeling the same way. And so I wanted to be that beacon in the light or beacon in that darkness for them and kind of get them out of that cave. During high school, I realized this needed to be done quickly. So when I was 15, I decided that I was going to make a change. So I made a program and I named it Days. At first I had in mind that the name should be something about David, but I realized that depression awareness and youth and young adult suicide would stick a lot more and would get to a lot of people a lot more than it would for with just David. Um, 
I wanted something that would be organizational and something that would be international and be known. So when I was 15, I was at Bishop McLaughlin Catholic High School in our area, and I created a walk for Project Semicolon at my school. After that, I became, I made it known that I was going to meet Miss Pasco County and I created days as a nonprofit and ever since then I have been in pageants I've been supporting my role and I've been helping my community realize the dangers of depression and realize the dangers that is suicide uh, or suicidal thoughts to our youths We've lost so many youths in Pasco County and in Florida alone that the number is just mind boggling at times. And a lot of the times it just flies under the radar with news and it flies under the radar with the community. And it's very sad to see that there is such a need for this, especially now that we're coming out of COVID and we need everyone, we need all hands on deck. And it's just so frightening to think that the same people that said that they shouldn't help are the same people that are in charge. So I wanna make that change. And I wanna make it known that we need that change. Definitely, definitely is something then, uh, it's a need, you know, I'm a, a emotional intelligence coach and definitely uh, you see it. You see uh, in adults, you see in kids, then they have a need uh, and they have a need of somebody that listen to them. Exactly. Uh, because sadly, during the pandemic, you know, we were basically in our houses. Uh, mm -hmm. Then we start going out, but we everybody was afraid to uh, talk to somebody because they have the situation of the COVID and we didn't know. And then we came back to become a society again and start talking. But they have some people that unfortunately has not uh, been out of that transition to be a society going to be encountered and then going back to be a society uh and they need to have some people uh around them uh that they can listen to them and then it's from the kids to the adults uh then they need that help and basically if you focus more with the with the kids with the youth and that is super important yes and it's really needed right now it truly is and if you look at the numbers and you look at the statistics um they're just getting worse day by day and it's terrible to see and your heart breaks for all those families that have lost that loved one have lost that youth and just didn't know what was happening at the time, didn't know the signs and didn't know that there was actually a problem. Correct, correct. And and basically because they didn't have the opportunity uh, to be heard or people didn't listen to them. And basically a silence is a sound. Mm -hmm. And that sound we need to you know, look at it, look around and see everything that goes around that person that is keeping quiet, is keeping everything in, in, in their uh, uh, own world. Uh, yeah. Most definitely. Most definitely. Yeah, it's, it's definitely needed. Yes, it, truly it is. is. Yes, it is. Well, let's take one more commercial break. And when we come back, we will continue talking about um, all these projects, your organization, how the people can follow you. Uh, and 
also uh, your INDB. But let's take your uh, this short commercial break and we'll be right back with more of Miss Brie Burke here in B Line to Passports on GKI Radio. We are back. We are back from commercial break. You're listening GKI Radio. This is your show, Be Line to Passports. My name is Joe Batista. I'm your host. And tonight we have a beautiful uh, guest. This guest, she is a beauty queen. She just got the Miss World United crown. She's an actress. She's a singer. She is a good friend of mine. With that, I added everything there, Brie. A good friend of mine, Brie Burke. Uh, Brie, um, we talk about all the projects. Uh, we talk about uh, the situation with the youth in the, the suicide. Um, your great projects with your singing career um the opportunity to, uh, then now you have a crown a new uh beautiful crown right there if you're seeing seeing uh, or watching this on uh youtube on our channel you see she showed the crown and she placed her crown and uh, also you can see behind her uh they have the sash and former uh a crown for miss pasco county uh we're talking about the acting and she's been uh working in some commercials and she's gonna have some other projects uh that very soon you're gonna see her name on the big screen and also on the streaming services but I want to uh, know something that we talked in the last uh, the last time that you were on the show. How is school? Because I remember you uh, you were uh, looking to go uh, to a university. Tell us, tell us about that uh, opportunity. So last we talked, I was debating whether or not I should go to Flagler College and if I should pursue um, a college degree. Um, I have gone through with this and I have re-enrolled. Um, I did take a year off, but now I am gung-ho for it and I will be going in January of 2024. So I'm going to be over in St. Augustine. Wow, she's she's coming to uh, the San Agustin, beautiful San Agustin area. Wow, and um, uh, you're uh, you're looking to uh, pursue a degree in what area? So that's what I'm kind of debating about right now. I do want to get um, a psychology degree. But I also want to do something in a clinical area. Um, I was debating whether or not if I should go into psychiatry or if I should just go strictly psychology. So that's kind of where I'm at currently. And we'll see what happens. <laughs> yes. Yeah. As soon as you get into that world, uh, the university or college world, that is when you start like, mm, okay. I need to take this class 
I don't like it. Let me take this other. <laughs> uh, let me tell you, when I was in college many, many moons ago, uh, I did, I, I basically decided to go for criminal justice and I ended with a sociology and a criminal justice minor uh, for my bachelor's. And then 20 years later, I complete my master's in business administration and human resources. Uh, but education is key because it's knowledge. That is knowledge that help you, but also help others. Uh, when you work in, in any, any uh, industry, uh, you know, learning the industry, learning something that will open a lot of doors for you and will help you uh, to grow in awesome. all, any, anything uh, that you want to pursue. Um, Brie, what are your social medias? So my social medias is Brie Burke for Facebook. Um, you can find me under the Brie Burke on Snapchat. And I believe it is the same for Twitter as well or X now. Correct. Um, TikTok is Breebark3 and Instagram is also Breebark3. Awesome, awesome. And uh, your IMDB? My IMDB, you can find me under Breebark and you should be able to see some of the upcoming projects that I've been very hush-hush about. Awesome, awesome. And then you can look on the IMDB for that project, then she has been uh, involved in projects that are coming up for her. And uh, we will see her in some of these uh, theaters around the nation and uh, some around the world, most definitely. Um, your final thoughts before we finish the show for tonight. Final thoughts? Thank you so much for having me again. And I do have to say for everyone that's watching or everyone that's listening, never let someone dictate your own worth. It is something that I have learned over and over and over again. And I will say it till my teeth fall out. Never, ever, ever wake up and think, oh, I just, I, I hate this life. I hate this body. I, I don't like what I'm doing. I don't like what I look like. I don't, you are perfect just the way you are. And you are loved just the way you are. There's no need to change who you are. There's no need to change what you do. You are absolutely perfect and there's just no outdoing perfection. So every single time you wake up, look in that mirror and say, I am, I am who I am and I love to be me. And no gut, and nobody can take that away from you. No one can take that away from me. I don't need a sparkly dress. I don't need a suit or a tie. I don't need to be a person I'm not to be loved or seen by anyone. That is what my final thoughts are. And that is what I'm going to leave every single person with that is listening or watching. Thank you. Beautiful, 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 beautiful words. Uh, and we know people out there, uh, they are uh, you know, listening and watching the, the show. Um, then they, these words will be a refresh words to continue and move forward of any situation that they might have right now. Uh, most definitely. 
Bree, has been a pleasure for me having you on the show again, uh, learning all these great projects that you have been uh, working. Um, again, congratulations on that crown. Uh, we know you're going to open many, many doors um, and will be uh, great to see days internationally and you know as a guest speaker in other countries <laughs> uh, bringing information regarding the uh, the other pandemic than is the suicide because we can call it pandemic because it's touching every everything around the world uh, but definitely thank you so much for the opportunity to interview you tonight and again break a leg in all <laughs> projects that you are involved thank you and the same to you as well thank you so much and people thank you for being with us in another be linked passports and remember be a leader rock the world inspires others with your emotions in control good night